Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, you will be witnessing this beautiful echeveria. Now, I'm not quite sure about the ID of this echeveria. I tried to find the ID, but I was unable to find the ID of this echeveria. So in this video, you will witness how this echeveria has transformed in three different seasons. Unfortunately, I do not have the video of uh, the two seasons, but I do have the pictures. So I'll be sharing the pictures. So I'll share the picture of how the succulent looked in the monsoon season, in the winter season, and now in the month of April, which is their growing period. This is how the succulent looks. So the next clip that you're going to be seeing is going to be the image of the succulent when it was in the winter season. Now over here, as you can see in this image, the succulent is absolutely beautiful. A uh, lot of the colors are missing. It's because during the monsoon season, there's a lot of moisture in the air. There is hardly any sunlight. It is very cloudy. So you can see the colors are missing, but there is a good amount of growth. You can see there is a lot of new growth on the crown area. And this is where the journey begins. Now, as we all know that in the world of succulents, there are only two seasons. One is summer and one is winter. According to these two seasons, the succulent tends to either go dormant or it tends to get into its growing period. Now, it's pretty difficult or it is pretty tricky for the succulent. We don't know exactly how the succulents tend to react to the monsoon season. Uh, I haven't seen any dormancy during the monsoon season. The succulent still continues to grow over here, as you can see. But as we belong to the tropical environment, we have three seasons. We have uh, summers, monsoon and winter. So during the monsoon season, I feel the succulents kind of have a little bit of growth. I wouldn't say that they go dormant or they go into their growing period. But I think it doesn't affect a lot. The monsoon season is one season that does not affect the succulents a lot. At least in my city, the succulent keeps growing. Uh, here, as you can see, there is a lot of new growth on the crown area. This was during the monsoon season. Colors are missing because of lack of sunlight. A lot of moisture in the air, but the succulent is growing. Now, the next clip that you're going to see is the succulent in its winter time, which is the dormant season. Now, you can see there is an extremely beautiful color on the succulent. The succulent has completely transformed how it looked during the monsoon season. And now you can see how it tends to look like. It doesn't even look like it's the same variety of succulent. There is a complete transformation because the succulent got into its dormant period. The colors have become more intense because the temperatures have dropped. The succulent is getting more sunlight, five to six hours of morning direct sunlight. Even during the monsoon season, it was getting the same amount of light, but unfortunately the sunlight was not much. So five to six hours of sunlight was not possible for the succulent. But over here during the winters, it was getting a good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours, little bit less watering because the succulent is getting into its dormant period. So you can see the colors were really intense and this is how it started looking. Once uh, the winters were getting over and the time frame between winters and summer, the transition period, this is how the succulent tends to look like. The colors are starting to reduce. And now over here, we have the same echeveria. The colors have completely gone off, even though it receives good amount of morning direct sunlight for five to six hours, but the colors have gone off. Reason is because it's getting into its growing period. Apart from that, the frequency of watering has increased because it's summers, the soil tends to dry faster, but you are able to see the new growth. There are a lot of new bloom stalks that are coming up and you can see the colors have completely vanished. Now, this is why I tell people, please don't be worried because a lot of people think that when the succulent tends to lose color, it means that the succulent is not doing well. Now, that is just a misconception. If your succulent is losing color during its growing period, that is a good sign. The succulent has completely lost all the color, but you can see there are a lot of bloom stalks. And now when I'm turning the pot, you can see the amount of... Uh, now, I'm not very sure whether these are pups or these are bloom stalks. Only time will let us know once they start growing. But you can see the amount of uh, the growth on them. Most probably this is going to be pups. I'm not very sure. Until and unless it grows a couple of uh, inches more, we will get to know whether it's bloom or it's pups. So never ever cut them off when they are at this stage because we never know what it's going to turn out to be. A very slight amount of... Uh, color of freckles on the leaves which will again soon disappear because the succulent is slowly getting into its growing period but you can see the amount of uh, growth 
looks absolutely beautiful so this is how the succulent has transformed from monsoon season to winter season and now uh, in the peak of summer this is how the succulent is looking please don't be worried when the colors disappear this is how the succulents tend to react so after the summer season in my city i'm going to have the monsoon season again there is going to be a little bit more of growth and then we're going to have winter season which will again uh, the colors will start coming back because the succulent is going to get dormant so this is this was the transformation of the entire succulent you can see how beautifully it has transformed and this is how the life cycle of an echeveria tends to look like so this is how the succulent looks in three seasons uh, summer monsoon and winter so guys i hope that you like this video if you did please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating